Jen and Jamie on a Thursday. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Jen and Jamie on a Thursday. The very best day of the week. Where we are trying to figure out what your favorite Christmas present was and how it can relate to the Bible. Yes. So um, last week we brought back one of our favorites, <laughs> which is what's in the lunchbox. So last week, if you remember, we had a Barbie dream house and we figured out, you know, its relationship to heaven and all that other fun stuff. So Jamie, let's take some time now to figure out what's in the lunchbox and see what we're going to talk about this week. So are you ready, everybody? All right, here we go. What's in the lunchbox? All right. It is. Ooh, I see some green and gold. A Jordan Love jersey. A Jordan Love jersey. So Cindy had mentioned that her favorite Christmas present was that she had got a Jordan Love jersey. Okay. And in perfect timing because not only did you get a Jordan Love jersey, <laughs> You've got a couple extra weeks to wear it now I that we know. weren't banking on. <laughs> Isn't that insane? So all of you either saw or caught or heard that the Green Bay Packers beat the Dallas Cowboys mm. on Sunday. Not, Not just, just beat. beat. No, like <laughs> whomped them up. Like 48 yeah. points yes. worth. Like, the game was pretty well decided in the second quarter. Yeah, that's just insane. So, yeah. uh, we are going to today talk about love. So, there's love. so many things that we could have talked about, but we're going to focus on the name on the back of that jersey and love. Mm -hmm. Because in the Bible, we find different forms of love. The most uh, familiar ones to you guys are probably philo, mm -hmm. eros, and agape. Yes, and this is where it comes in so handy having a pastor who understands the original <laughs> languages of the Bible, yeah. because when we read it, we read the Bible and it all says love. Mm -hmm. um, but the Bible in its original language, Greek and Hebrew, has different words to describe the different types of love. So like I can say, I love Jennifer. Mm, I love you too. And I can say, I love my husband, Steve. And I can say, God loves me. And it's all the same love. You just hit the, all three kinds of love, though, that we're going right. to talk about. But then, in the original languages in the Bible, we can break it down further. So, philo, or phila. Phila. Philadelphia. How many of you are familiar with Philadelphia, the city of brotherly, brotherly love. love? So, that's where this type of relationship, a friendship, friendship. a love, I like you a lot, so right now we are all in love <laughs> with Jordan Love. We are in philo. He was the quarterback that one got us into the playoffs mm -hmm. and two whomped on the Dallas Cowboys mm -hmm. to get another week further into the playoffs. Um, but next Monday, Jordan Love might not be as loved unless he wins that game against the mm -hmm. Niners. So it's kind of a conditional love. Yeah. You know, I love you mm -hmm. as long as you're doing things for me. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can love your friends, but there might be a time where there's a falling out mm -hmm. and you're, there's an argument that takes place. Something might happen and you're no longer in love yeah. with your friend. Or your love is not as deep. It's more like a like instead of mm -hmm. a really I love. Um, so, so that one, then we go to Eros, which mm -hmm. you had mentioned loving your husband, Steve, mm -hmm. which Eros is a romantic. romantic love. Um, ladies, I know you probably want to have that type of love with Jordan Love, but you can't. <laughs> um, and then we get to the final love, agape, which is not conditional mm -hmm. love. And it's only a love that can be given to us by God, our father. Yeah, so agape love is going to be a love that we as sinful humans can't even wrap mm -hmm. our heads around. Um, because for us as sinful people, we can fall in and out of love <laughs> with a person based on their actions. Um, but for God, his love is so unconditional that he knows that we as sinful people, um, he will never fall out of love with us. No matter how many times we sin, we are his child and he is going to love us so much so that yes, he mm -hmm. sent Jesus to die on the cross and to rise again um, so that we can be in heaven with him. But he loves us so much still that he's coming back again to bring us to heaven to be with him. 
um, in the Barbie dream in house. In the Barbie dream house. Yay. <laughs> it all goes together. In my father's house. Um, but that type of love is a love that our human brains can't even fully comprehend. So we often refer to John 3, 16, the gospel in a nutshell, and talk about, for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his one and only son. And it's just so known to us now that we just kind of ramble it mm -hmm. off, right? Because we know that God loves us. But that type of love in there would translate for God so agape the world that he gave his one and only son. Um, he sent Jesus to save us because he couldn't live without us. So... Um, that kind of love is the greatest love. I don't think any of you have achieved that with Jordan love because <laughs> the outcome of next week's game may right. or may not, you know, be a love love or a love, yeah. but um, that's that's the story we've yeah. got this week, so. I mean, you could look at it like, we love the Packers, <laughs> um, but if they're not doing so hot, we don't mm -hmm. tend to say nice things about them. Mm -hmm. And so like, God is not a fair weather fan nope. of us. He nope. is. 100% for us cheering us on. Mm -hmm. Agape loving us no matter what. No matter Win or lose. Win or lose. <laughs> 48 to 32 or <laughs> anything in between. Anything in between. So we hope that you will join us next week to see what Christmas present we can relate to the Bible. But until then, may your lunchbox mm -hmm. always be full. We'll see you next week. Jen and Jamie on a Thursday.